Hi, uh, welcome back. So I'm going to explain something. I want to show you for the technical people who are interested in understanding how this barrier is controlled by this camera. This is the logic. Uh, we have the barrier. The camera captures the number plate. Then when it captures, it can display here. Then when it displays at the same time, it triggers this barrier to open this way. Then when the barrier opens uh, like this, then we have this anti-smashing radar which detects like presence of uh, a vehicle or an obstacle within the cell. Then it, uh, it triggers the barrier to close. So you will have that automatic opening and closing of the barrier. So we open by the camera, close by the anti-smashing radar. That's how you do the control. Uh, this barrier also comes with this kind of remote control where you can uh, trigger closing and, uh, and opening of the barrier. So if you need to do the such, you, you can do that. But now let me explain. Uh, the barrier has... I'll show you how the host looks like, but you have different connectors. One is for the power supply, which you connect to live 220 volts, uh, that kind. Then we have connecting to the camera. So you can connect to two cameras simultaneously. So we have NO1 and NC1, uh, NO2 and NC2. So it's normally open and normally closed based on what your application case. Then we have the anti-smashing radar connection. So that is to help you uh, control closing of the barrier after a vehicle has passed. Then we have uh, controlling the uh, lights, which we have a connection for uh, terminal 14, generally to do connection with the barrier lights. Then now, at the actual barrier, uh, let me show you. Uh, this is how it looks like. So you'll do your wiring and do cable management. This is the barrier controller, but this is where you terminate. So just look at the different connections. I'll show you like this. Typical port is uh, going from 19 and 21 to to the ANPR camera. So once you've done this, if you look at the barrier, you'll see, uh, I'll also show you up here, this is the barrier motor and I'll show you from the top view, top view side. So this is how the barrier looks like. So you can have this uh, deployed uh, for your security needs, but uh, technically uh, the linking of the camera and the barrier it's not as complicated as you would think. It's a straightforward thing. So you're welcome to also come and feel it. We can dismantle the linkage and then you do it yourself and have the experience so that you share out there. Thank you.